exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Goy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And do you know what we are? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I've got our answer well, before you. We already answered that. <laughs> I've Ooh, got yeah. our answer before We're the Million Dollar Peddlers? No, what we are. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to leave that one open. Okay. Um, we are small businessmen. And I think that is very, very important. And I thought of this video because I saw on, I believe it was on Instagram, where somebody was stressing that. And I said that is absolutely brilliant. Um, when you're going out to a sale, and I know you don't tend to go to sales, but a lot of times resellers get a bad name. Um, people, for whatever reason, don't want to sell to the reseller. They feel that, all oh, the guy's going to rip, rip me off. They feel this, they feel that. They, A lot of people, especially when they're at sales, they're setting up and they're saying, well, wait a minute, I'm listing this for $10. This guy's going to buy it and sell it for 30 yeah. Why am I letting him make all the money? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's because of the knowledge. It's because, you know, if you're watching this, you're probably a reseller as well. And you know all of the various reasons why the world works like that. Um, but what this person had said is they were at a sale and they stressed that, yes, I am a reseller. I am a small business. And the person who was set up at the sale thought about it and said, wow, you're right. I do want to sell to you because you are a small business person and you are working hard and you're making the money and I understand it. And it's no different than, you know, if you go to the grocery store, the, the small corner store, I'm going to give you a little secret. He's selling you the milk for $3.29 a gallon. He's not paying $3.29 <laughs> for that gallon of milk. True. He's making money on it. He's a small business person. and Not making much, but he's making money. He's making it. money, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and you've been a small business person your entire life. And do you stress that? And if so, when and where? I, well, I stress it more now than ever. I mean, um, my big stressors before used to be, I'm going to get kicked off eBay. I'm going to kick it off Amazon. For whatever reason, These they have their rules, you know, it's a non-compliance, whatever it may be. I worry less about eBay now that the adult items are gone. So I feel there's really no reason I should be kicked off there. If it is, it would be a temporary thing for some yeah, like know, copyright thing. Suspension or, yeah, whatever. Or so or something. I really yeah. don't worry about that anymore. Nothing permanently. Amazon still has their issues, but we're getting smarter and attacking them, you know, ahead of time. You're so, being proactive. Yeah, yep. yeah. So... You know, you know, right now we're in good standing with Amazon. We're one of the higher rated sellers. So if we keep doing what we're doing, maintaining that, nothing to worry about. However, my warehouse, the employees in the warehouse, that is becoming more of a stressor with minimum wage, raises, bonuses, uh, unhappy employees or employees worrying about other employees. So that's what I'm dealing with now. Um, we had one employee leave that, you know, after three years, I thought he was happy and he just exploded on me one day and left. Um, and then the next day I had another, you know, not that then they all got bonuses, they all got raises. And then a week later, he's unhappy. He leaves a day after that, after this other employee got bonuses and raises, he's not happy. So I'm dealing with things like that and how to make my employees happy, you know, all of them, which is very hard because if one wants more money. So you've definitely got the stresses yes. of a small businessman, yes. no doubt at all. You know, that's the biggest issues I'm having right now, keeping employees happy and even keeping employees, getting employees. Cause we're, we're a few men down. Um, our listings have slowed right down, so right now I'm just stockpiling, and we're worried about pulling and fulfilling orders first and foremost. Well, let me ask a question. How many people do you employ? We're down to like 10 from 15 at our peak. So you you could employ 10 to 15 people. So you or are... more, really. Listing-wise, maybe 20. If I had enough good employees, I could afford to employ 20 people. So that's uh, that's 10 to 15 to 20 people that make their living, feed their families off of you correct when you get down to yep, it sure and that's definitely something or other to stress as well a lot of people have gone with the uh shop local that's definitely a, a big thing mm -hmm. and i don't know any nash i mean there are a few national i guess uh companies but pretty much we're all working you know we're working out of our basements or we're working out of small storefronts we're working out of small warehouses mm -hmm. there aren't a lot of people on ebay that have hundreds of employees there just are not it's right. it's difficult to do and you know if there are people out there with hundreds of employees ebay is just a small part of their overall business right um you know they they wholesale stuff off or they're sure. like a target or something like that that happens to yeah. sell stuff on ebay but I, I want to stress, everybody watching this, 
is a local small business person. And you need to stress that as well. Um, like I said, the shop local is definitely a big thing. People would rather support people in their community because, again, you are, are employing 10 people. That are that 10 people that can pay their bills thanks to you employing them. Mm-hmm. Um, that's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Um, stress that. Stress that at all times because if you're out there and you've got one employee, two employees, whatever, stress that as well. Mm-hmm. When you're going out there... <clears throat> Because the people that you're dealing with are probably not going to be gigantic corporate CEOs and hedge fund traders that are going to be sitting there saying, oh, I couldn't care less. You know, <laughs> right, right. It's not like Gordon Gecko. You're probably yeah. not going to be dealing with Gordon Gecko. You're going to be dealing with other people that maybe have never stopped and thought about that before. Right. And maybe they're sitting there looking at it going, well, I don't know if I can sell it for that price. And then when they stop and they think about it and they're like, wow, Mr. Magazine has to employ has to pay for 10 employees Mm -hmm. he also pays taxes on the building he helps the community in so many different ways by doing that that maybe they can take a look and say yeah i can let it go just a little bit cheaper because he's doing good for the community and definitely stress that i I can't when i saw that in the instagram uh, like a light bulb went off in my head as well um you don't often think about it that way but it's absolutely true. Uh, we're all small business people. Stress that when you're out there. And when somebody gives you a hard time at a sale and holds off for a higher price, explain to them, hey, look, you know, I understand you're trying to get the most out of it. I also need to make money because I've got to keep my lights on. I've got to keep the employees employed. Right. I've got to do all this stuff. We can agree to disagree. I won't purchase these items, but please understand my side as well. And maybe they'll take a step back and say, I just thought of you as, as being this, you know, reseller vulture because there are a lot of people <laughs> yeah. out there that get that, that reputation. There right. are, it's not necessarily um, unearned by some people. There are unscrupulous people out there. Definitely are. There definitely are. Right. But but I'm thinking all of our fans that, that have sat in there and talked to us in the chat uh, at all the various shows, emailed us and everything, we're all just trying our best. We're yeah. all, we all treat people people. Uh, treat people fairly sure. and that's what it all comes down to yeah. treat people fairly stress you're a small business we live in the community yeah you can you know you can come in any day of the week during normal business hours and and see mr magazine at his store yeah. he lives there it's yeah. you know, we, you know well you do live at your there. store but I used you know. to literally but yeah <laughs> we're, we're part of the community we're yeah. not some and nothing against these people they have to make a living too but we're not some carpet baggers coming in from out of state sitting up yeah. at a uh Setting up at a hotel, <laughs> buying your you know right. your family treasures for yeah. ten cents on a dollar. Well, I think another issue too, between customers and employees is they're counting the dollars you're making and they think that there's no expenses. It's all 100 percent profit. So you know if I have a sports card in my store and it's a thousand dollars and they offer me 900, they think 900 is going to my pocket. I may have paid six hundred, seven hundred for it. Or if we sell one online for five hundred, you know my employees, wow, five hundred bucks, you know when. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm making $10, 20 50 So that's another issue I'm running into and maybe with customers as well, seeing that like, hey, I'm not giving you $1,000. It's all going in your pocket when it really doesn't. Yeah. I've actually found some of the hardest negotiations <clears throat> occur not with the dealer because the dealer understands. Sure. And not with the complete novice, somebody selling stuff out of their house that just wants it gone. A lot of times they'll just take whatever you offer them as long as you're not, you know, saying, well, I'll give you a dollar for this. Right. It's that person that's in between that sometimes deals once in a great while, but really doesn't. Yeah. They see the big dollars. They think everything is worth a lot of money. Um, and that's where in those cases you need to stress, which I always do, I stress, look, I've got these fees. I got to pay 13% right. right off the top to eBay, right off the top before anything. Mm-hmm. And I said, and I got to make a living too. And when you explain that, at times they're actually willing to step back because they're they don't understand like the dealer understands all the costs. Yeah. The novice doesn't really care. They just want the stuff gone. Right. It's that in between person that knows enough about the value and wants to get every single penny. Stress to them, look, I'm just a small business person. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't, I'm not a charity. I can't buy it off you and make, you know, five cents on it. It's right, not worth exactly. my time to do that. Sure. Um, and eventually, if you stress that you're a small business person, they, they 
do appreciate that and they see him as more than just as walking dollar sign when you walk right. into the place. Yeah, sure. um, but again, stress that. I, I, can, I cannot stress that enough. Stress that you're a small business person when you're out there in your dealings. Um, buy local, sell local. It, you know, it works out wonderfully. Um, it's, it's just a great hook, a great advertisement for yourself. Use it. And uh, we will see you next video. Hit in your comments below. Um, if you've been able to stress that you're a small business person, if, if that has helped, Jenny, because I really think that it will, and I definitely next year will continue to do so even more. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.